Hello and welcome to this presentation on the new Carbon Black Observations. My name is Raj Zahara and I'm a tech marketing architect here at Carbon Black and I'll give you a brief tour of the new feature. In this video I will cover what observations are, how they add value to your security workflow, where to find them in the console and then dive into the details of the new observations interface. Observations are the logical evolution of enriched events. Compared to the existing enriched events feature, with observations we have added more data sources to the investigate tab. We give you more context and telemetry to events and categorize them in more detail. We are empowering users to understand more quickly which items to focus on when they are performing an investigation and we are helping them make more informed data driven decisions. We've been slowly introducing these newer detections over the past year and it's time now to pull back the covers and present a better way of up-leveling our security context beyond the raw event. By attributing events to security relevant activities, we can provide more intelligence to the security analyst in a more standardized manner. This makes our customers more effective at finding and stopping cyber attacks in their organization. Similar to enriched events, observations are a neutral and detail oriented view when tackling threat investigation. They can be a powerful tool when the goal is to go beyond alerts and understand potentially malicious activity happening in your environment in a more detail and take more informed decisions as needed. Now let's dive into the new observations experience. Observations can be found in the investigate page which has been remodeled for this new feature. At the top right corner, you'll find a toggle that allows you to activate the new investigate experience and once enabled, you can see that enriched events are replaced by observations as the primary tab on this page. The new view has a few changes. Most prominently, we now have a histogram view at the top that shows occurrences of observations over time and can help you easily monitor the volume of events to identify patterns and spot spikes. The histogram has a number of cool features First thing to point out is that you can hide the histogram visualization for a more tabular view. You can drill into a single bar of the histogram to review just activity in that more narrow time range. Notice that the time range picker at the top of the screen is coordinated with the new section when you drill in. It automatically reflects the new time range you're searching in. You can further click and drag if you'd like to review a range of time within the current histogram view. And at any time, if you get too deep and you want to climb back out, you can click on the back button until you're at the zoom level you need. Finally, you'll notice that you can jump back or forward by whatever time increment the histogram displays. So if you're looking at three days worth of data, you can jump back to the previous three days with one click. On the left side, you can find the familiar filter sidebar, included added filter categories breaking down the different types of observations, mitre attack tactics and techniques, and application protocols. You can hide and add a wide variety of filters from the three dots menu. For example, if you wish to quickly filter by the interesting side of a netcon, you can add the netcon IPv4 category to your filters, and in a few seconds, you'll be able to quickly select one of the top 50 most prevalent IPs in your observations. In the main results table, you can see the familiar column layout to which we have added some additional information. Most notably, we've added the MITRE attack tactics and techniques. You can now not only see what tactic and technique we've detected, but also get a more detailed description of it by clicking the information icon and going directly to the related MITRE page from this pop-up window. You can see this in the example that I'm sharing. If you want to see the technique in the table view, just click here on configure table, add the attack technique column and click apply. Note that we're including tactic and techniques for all new detections as we add them to the Carbon Black Cloud and we'll be investing in adding MITRE metadata to existing detections over time. Similarly, in the right hand side panel of any observation, by clicking the arrow, you'll find the additional MITRE information as well as other metadata, which will give us a more complete and detailed view of that observation. 
for users who are familiar with inspecting the roll-ups of enriched events by device or network, we have introduced a new group by capability, which is also available on the Auth Events tab, which is available in Enterprise EDR. For example, if you want to see which devices have the most observations that are not contextual activity, you can deselect contextual activity from the type filter, add remote IP via the configure table, which immediately shows you which remote IPs are most heavily involved in these more security centric observations, and then group by remote IP. You can group your search results by a number of important categories our customers have articulated to us, including IP addresses, users, device, and attack tactic. This lets you see patterns quickly, which is important when investigating thousands of observations across a large fleet or wide time ranges. Finally, if you're a query expert, you'll love that we've added many new fields to the searchable syntax, including all the filter categories. For example, if you want to search for all tau observations that have an associated alert, you can do so by typing observation underscore type and then selecting the observation type and alert ID. These new search terms can be used in building more sophisticated watch lists as well. Now that we have covered the overall interface, let's go back to the observation type filter and review the available categories that we have here including contextual activity, which contains all other additional event information that you may be familiar with, with enriched events, indicator of attack, tamper, CB analytics, intrusion detection system, which is for XDR customers, and tower intelligence. And we're currently working on adding NTA as an additional data source, and this will also be available here for XDR customers. For a full list, please refer to the user guide. Observation types are defined in the user guide and as we expose more observation types, the guide will be updated. Thank you for taking the time to tour the new observations experience with us today. If you've got any questions, please feel free to reach out.